Welcome back. Uh, tomorrow, as you know, last show, so uh, please tune in. Uh, food, folks, and fun on tomorrow's show. And tremendous live music from Buffalo Tom uh, all tomorrow. And uh, we would be delighted if you would join us. And right now, I'm hungry. I think I'll have myself a, a little snack here. I have the Hebrew National, but I'll be quite honest with you, I got my favorite here. McGillicuddy's Meat Food Sausages. Man! I can't get enough of these suckers. You put them on top of a little saltine cracker, you grab yourself a, a little malt liquor, bam! That's a night, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just open up my uh, McGillicuddy's and... <laughs> wow, that's loud. <laughs> Oh my God, it's the golden ticket. <laughs> Congratulations, you are cordially invited to Meaty McGillicuddy's Magical Meat. Fantastic wonders await you. Oh my God, Howard, I won! I... And it says the tour starts today. There's no time to lose. Howard, well, I won. I wasn't even trying. I won. Uh, great, John. Congratulations. I'm real happy for you. You won. Oh man, Howard, uh, it says I can, I can bring one person. What? Would you like to go with me? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't left this stool in like 20 years, but... Oh, what the hell? What the heck? Come on, yeah. let's go to meet McGillicuddy's oh. Meat Food Sausage yeah. Plant. Yeah. Woo! Howard, I can't even believe this is happening. Nobody's been inside this factory for 15 years. I know, and in all that time, nobody's ever caught a single glimpse of meeting McGillicuddy. Howard. I'm a very old man. Yes. I'm not old at all. Hooray! <laughs> now, who has the golden ticket? Me, sir. Me, sir. Me, sir. Me, sir. Me, sir. Oh, and who might you be? I'm Augustus Chip. I eat chips all the time. I'm going to cost you a fortune in chips. <laughs> Don't make chips here, but thank you very much. And how about you? Bang! Wow. I'm Mike Feedy. I love to listen to Feedy. I've got Feedy Rom and Feedy Interactive. And I've... Wonderful! I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh, little John Stewart. I, mean, I read about you in the news. Oh, yeah. And this must be Grandpa Joe. <laughs> Wonderful! Come along, there is so much to see in my... Magical Meat Factory! <laughs> Any kind of meat food. Just give me a whistle. Meaty meat's so good you can even eat the gristle from the meaty man. Oh, the meaty man. The meaty man makes all his chops and steaks from the docile and ferocious. Now don't it smell as sweet as roses? Just three deaths from trichinosis. <laughs> the meaty man can cause he mixes it with blood and makes the world taste meaty. Try the meat. It tastes like meat. Try the sausages. It tastes like sausages. This doesn't taste good. Oh, it tastes like crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe you, you killed those kids. Yes, what a pity. Do you know why I shot them? No. Because they were greedy. <laughs> Oh, all right, I get it. What do you want to do now, Meaty? Glad you asked. Let's go. Meaty, 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 do. I got a meaty question for you. Meaty, meaty, do do the courses. Listen to us while we dispose of these courses. Why did I pass through this prison hall? Now they are laying doodly. Dead. He's got the same since his three twos in the non Last week he thought we were the car. He beat us with his rifle, but eat it, beat it, deedly do. Be very careful or you will be killed. That's the lesson we give to you from the eating, meaty, 
I must warn you that what you are about to see will astonish you, amaze you, blimpluvatize you. It's time for a ride in my amazing tenderloin canoe. Cool. Is that the river made entirely of blood? Yes, it is. The freshest blood imaginable. I keep it at a steady 98.7 degrees. <laughs> Good God, Howard, no! What? Oh. Meaty, I think I need some fresh air. Very good! We have lots of fresh air here in the factory, and it's all made of meat! <laughs> oh. And to show us the way, ladies and gentlemen, the little lady meaties! Help us, help us, please help us, please. He thinks we work for the Vietnamese. Please, 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 please help us escape. Ah, no more singing, thanks, fellas! <laughs> Good time. I'm very needy, meaty. Well, thank you very much, sir. Really enjoyed ourselves. We're just going to go now. And but, John, I still haven't shown you my everlasting meatball. You can suck them and suck them and suck them and suck them and suck them. I'm sure you can. Listen, we're just going to. Is that the exit? We're just going to walk. Howard? Don't go in there! I want to give my factory to you! And don't forget your lifetime supply of meat! Meaty McGillicuddy later faced charges related to 175 health code violations, 37 counts of unsanitary conditions, and the unlawful imprisonment of an Edie Meaty. He pleaded not guilty at all but 14 counts to which he pleaded meat. His case is still pending.